Well, what's the difference between a competitive food eater and a food challenger? You might run into a competitive eater at your local fair, but we talked to a food challenger who recently took on a meal at Smoke Barbecue here in Rochester. He tells us how his line of work is unique. I had never done a food challenge before, but I knew I'd always known that I could eat. Uh, ever since I was a, a high school and college football player. And after putting points up on the scoreboard, professional eater Randy Santel would eventually find himself chalking up some wins at the dinner table. Let's, let's shut up and eat. Let's get these challenges started. Recently, he took on this, the five pound bucket burger challenge at Smoke Barbecue in Rochester. I'm hoping to become one of the few elite people to dominate their bucket burger challenge. Now it's called that because it is served in a bucket. A bucket loaded down with sandwiches, burgers, meats, fries and beyond with a bottle of Coke. I spoke with Smoke's general manager who says it surprises her each time someone orders the meal. Yeah, it is kind of impressive to watch them do it. A little disgusting as well, but um, yeah. To get your name on the victory board, you have to eat it all in under 30 minutes. Something Santel, a 14-year food challenger, was able to do in 19 minutes and 54 seconds, adding to his over 1,300 contests and winning. Did you say 1,230? You've won these challenges? Yes. In 2015, I think, I won like 145 different challenges. The registered dietitian shares some tips for aspiring professional eaters. Our motto is win before you begin. Uh, train, strategize, dominate. And if you train yourself, make sure your body is ready. The secret behind actually eating fast is, is chewing is kind of a waste of time. So in order to eat fast, it's more about swallowing fast. As until as his professional eater girlfriend, Katina Eats Kilos, are continuing to travel across the countries and conquering entrees, Santel says his goal is to have wins in 50 countries as his ultimate victory.